In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the add and subtract options of the area command. So first of all, I've got a little plate here with some holes in it, and I want to find the area of the shape. Currently, each of these pieces are separate lines and arcs, and I'm going to need to join them together in order to find their area. So I will just simply click the modify drop down and choose my join command, and pick each of these outside shapes, then press enter and you can see those are now one selectable polyline. So next up I'm ready to find the area. So to find the area you can click the measure drop down and choose area. You can also type AA if you like keyboard shortcuts. And you can see there's a, a bunch of options up here. There is an object option. If I choose object first and then click on the outside shape it will give me the area of the shape it doesn't know that there's any holes in there, but I can see the value up here in the command line. You'll also notice that I do not have the option to add or subtract in my command line as well. So if you want to use the add and subtract options, you have to start with those. So I'll just escape to cancel, start my area command again, and this time I'm going to start with add area. So you can also type A or right click to choose this option, but I'm going to choose add area. Now AutoCAD wants to know what do I want to add. I want to add an object and I will click on the outside shape. Now I'm getting a total area value here and it wants to know what else do you want to add. So I'm going to press enter to tell it that I'm done adding. Now I'm going to choose to subtract some areas. And now I want to subtract objects so I'll go ahead and click object and now each time I click on another object you can see this value decrease. You can also see it conveniently highlighted red on screen for the items that are being subtracted. What you can't see very well in the command line is that it's also showing you the area of each shape that I'm subtracting. If I press my F2 key to bring up my AutoCAD window you can actually see each time it gave me the area of the shapes that were being subtracted and then the running total and then my final answer. So then I can go ahead and just press enter now that I've found the area of this shape minus the hole. So I recommend you practice that one. The biggest key is just simply making sure that you do things in the correct order. Start with add, then object, then press enter when you're done, then subtract an object, and then enter when you are done. 